Snoop is the absolute shit to me. Snoop is gonna always Snoop be. Snoop number one all time. Bro, he is the absolute uh, end rapper. all. Rapper? The, rapper. He's, he's, he's more than rap, for really? really? He's been here through all his generation. Uh, and he's still oh, yeah. he, he, he won the young thing. Hey, that's a, not not yeah, lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying not lyrics. I'm saying has like just rap. Like, just you know, to be clear. I got to look caught up because, you know, I'm not sound, man. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. I gotta ask you another question because Boz will get he Boz will be upset with That's me. That's my guy, bro. Boz told me when I'm sitting down with no limit people, mm -hmm. make sure you ask them. Just ask them what what did what did what did I bring to take? What did they think of me? What did he brought to say? Yeah, what did you think of him? Oh, when you man. think of Boz, what what, man, what comes to mind? Man, man, big Boz, Mr. shout out, Mr. Boswell, brought to the table integrity. He brought another perspective of gangster. You hear me? Clean cut gangster. He brought a gentleman. He brought class. You know what I'm saying? He was wearing uh, tailor made clothes then. I saw guys looking at him thinking that his clothes were a little too snug. I'm like, you you don't really get that stuff tailored. It was it was the it was fit for him. And that's what he brought, you heard me? And the wisdom. Man, Boz told me stuff like it stuck with me, bro. I, man, Boz told me, say Feeney. You know, a good soldier prepares for war during a time of peace. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? He used to just be putting like, we used to have these one-on-ones. He used to just, man, he used to always keep it clean with me. And I think he got that. You hear me? Where I'm from, I was taught to be a hero and a monster. Everybody can't just see you and know everything you've been through. You can't wear everything. You can scare people off, bro. You know what I'm saying? And for the fact that if you don't know me on a dark street, you shouldn't know me on a dark street. You feel me? So Boz brought that to me, and it was okay. He made it okay. When I turned in there's when they're a family, Boz reached me a car magazine and told me to pick me something out of there. You know? Wow. I Like I said, when we sit down and talk, I just know... That's something. I, every time I sit down with one of y'all, man, no matter He's which out. one it is, he go, I He's say, out. I got to ask, man. I, I started with KL, and then, you know, even KL, man, like when I was interviewing him in Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. man, you were supposed to link, uh, you know, he he would talk highly about you. Man. Love bro. you, bro. Like, bro. like you got a lot of love around you. Hey, man, God, man. I, I've been, ooh, I'm so blessed. I've been preserved my whole life. That's why I don't want to. I don't want to play it off. I'm not bringing preacher. I ain't no preacher. I'm a reach. I just want to keep it funky with people. Like my brother passed away. My village took me under their wing, and I really, I believe to this day they preserved me. Like they protected me from all the BS that I could have got into being miserable. That my brother died, and 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 just sad, and just down and out. And I think that I think I want to tell that because they may have some people be trying to help people, and they may not be accepting the help. You hear me? I, I performed the American Music Awards, right? Now I had this Rolex, uh, Rolex, this Pave dial, flushed out Rolex, and a Jubilee band. This early, right? Boz looked at me and said, "Say, Feeny, your other wrist look a little, look a little, little dry, bro. You know." He took off a Cuban link. I ain't never seen a Cuban link. All right, Cuban link. It looked like water was laying on this Cuban link, bro. And I know his quality, his taste of things. It wasn't to be played with. He spent thirty thousand dollars for a bracelet. This was wow. I know how he was he was moving, you feel me? That boy took this bracelet out, say, say Fina, put this on. You hear me? He said, Oh, and it fit? Yeah, man, go out there, rock it, you hear me? Rocked it. We did make it so on for American Music Awards. I came back. You know, like I was taught, I'm looking for Boz to give him the bracelet. He looked at me and said, man, you did your damn thing, man. I said, man, take this goddamn bracelet, you hear me? He said, nah, baby, you keep that, yeah. You keep that, man. Wow. Girl. Wow. And that's the type of gentleman, not to say that he had to give, I mean, he was already dropping gems on me. And I didn't take that for granted, bro. He was, he was, he was a, he was somebody special then, bro, to be, to grow up in New Orleans and to be this type of a man, this type of individual to carry his own persona of who he was. He was special then, bro. Wow. What did, and I got to ask you this. What did you think about Snoop when he came over? To Snoop, first of all, Snoop is the reason I feel that I know it was okay to get married and be here with my extraordinarily awesome <laughs> wife to know I could be married in hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? I never would have thought I'd have got them lessons in hip-hop. Rap music. It's hard. Snoop is the absolute shit to me. Snoop is going to always be... Snoop number one all time. Bro, he okay. is the absolute... Uh -huh. And uh, rapper, the, rapper? He's, he's, he's more than rap. For really? he's been here through all his generation. 
And he's still lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying not lyrics. I'm saying like just rough life. Just you know, I got a little caught up because, you know, I'm in the South, man. I'm in the South, man. I'm in the South, baby. I ain't going to play with y'all in there. Don't do this. Don't come at me with this, man. be clear. He's bigger than rap. Yeah, he's bigger than rap. I agree with that. No, no, yeah. He's bigger than a conversation of lyrics. I want to tell you, he had he Snoop overstood the concept of business, and that is something to praise him for. You, we, I know a lot of people that's cold as fuck, and they don't have their business in order. So I want to commend him for being an example of being cold but knowing how to balance these things are bro who have you seen in your life outside your household your block your neighborhood politicians wise that has been living his life in front of the camera all these years unapologetically and him point somebody to me and i and you and you have to point back to Snoop. Point back Snoop. married children mm -hmm. court murder mm -hmm. cases uh, 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 youth kids. Come on, bro. We can go on and on. He, he, he has been selfless. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he has know. been selfless, bro. And he is so big. He's the Barry Gordy of hip hop on and the West Coast. A lot, of, a lot of people on. Like, Man, what? like from the Fifty Two Savage, brought him out to his house. Man, this guy. Like he, 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 he's his like whole he, family. It's like he opened them with welcome arms like that. Hey, bro. Uh, praise in abundance to Snoop Dogg, his wife, his family. I, come on, bro. It is not easy to live in front of the camera, yeah, bro. Like that, bro. I got to come clean with you, man. And to keep it like Come it on, is. man. I'm going to keep yeah. it clean, bro. The camera's always running, bro. Yeah. It ain't easy, man. Like, this is before the clicks was about uh, uh, my life, your entertainment. Yeah. Let's keep it funky, bro. He's always lived in front of the camera. He's always was a pop star ever since Dre decided to put him on deep <laughs> cover. Deep no, no, he, he definitely one of those guys, man. And it, it's not easy being in front of the camera. You know, like when I interviewed Ice-T, that was one of the things that he, he talked about. You know what I mean? Just that they would, that there's always a plot that people would love to see him. You know what I mean? See him say be it. taken down. Say it, thank That's you. What say I, it, he say, say he, it. He say he did that cop killer and to change it over and be able to transform and still be getting money and knew all those people and came from the streets like he did. Yeah. They would love to bring him down off Shout of out to Bum B. Shout out to Ice T. Shout out to E-40. That's what I'm trying to tell you. One. If we, if we, if our community don't acknowledge this, you know, go buy you some Snoop Dogg cereal. Yeah. For go sure. Go buy you some Snoop Dogg Masterpiece For cereal. Sure. Go sure, buy you some E-40 um, wines. The noodles, sauce, noodles, noodles, whatever he got going on, go support. What I'm trying to tell you is like these people are living fearlessly in a world that where it is set up and designed for them to lose. Yeah, it's what you just yeah. said is real talk. Oh, I, he that's told that's me what that. I want to tell you, family. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So when you come outside your house, you got to be ready for whatever. My life, your entertainment. There's a consumer for everything. If it's about somebody's brains being put on the concrete, there's a consumer for that. Yeah. There's somebody at home clicking, talking about, oh, I just love to see me some brains on the ground. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and, and that is the world we live in. Right. That's why I stay to myself, man, because I don't want to put this on my kids, my wife. I've been blessed to, right. to get to another aspect of where my spiritual footsteps are bigger than whatever I done yesterday. Yeah. So I like to keep it clean. That's, don't get me wrong, that's just me. I'm not yeah. making nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I got to keep it clean. I know that the camera's always rolling, so I always put it out there so you know that those options do exist. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.